Good morning and welcome to the um, Pure Energy Healing Academy and welcome to Mark Bayerski YouTube channel, your daily dose of uh, spiritual uplifting and sometimes slap across the face wake up call and this morning is exactly that. <clears throat> so here we are, I've got one minute to change your life and to free you from every pain and suffering that has ever happened. I have one minute to make you healthy and healed and never ever to experience pain and suffering again. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> Hi guys, it's not true, sorry. And if you really, really believed that I could do that, then you've got to ask yourself one question. Are you actually looking to heal yourself truly, deeply? Or are you just looking for a quick fix? The red or blue pill, which one? Look, dear friends, it, it's been such a long battle and process in my life from being born until 38 years of my life and realizing there is no quick fix. There is no path that brings us true enlightenment. There is no journey we can take that can bring us happiness and true joy every day of our life. There is no step one, two and three that can change your life instantly. You know, I'm looking at my plants, my bonsai trees outside there. I love them bonsai trees. I remember coming back one day and <clears throat> somebody had forgot to water them and two of them were just about dead. So I set off on a journey with these two little bonsais and I started to talk to them. I started to um, put crystals in the soil and I started to take care of them because they meant so much to me. So every morning I'd wake up, my first action would be to fill a bottle of water up, not too cold, not too warm, just right. And I'd go outside and I'd gently water them. Not too much, not too little, just enough. And I'd talk to them, I'd hold them in my hand and put good energy into them. Every day, no matter what day it was, no matter how I was feeling, no matter if I was up and feeling jubilation or down feeling really sad, I would make it a morning, afternoon and evening ritual to go outside and put my love into those dead bonsais. Each day went by, I didn't give up on them, never. I didn't throw them away and I could have thrown them away at any time. I continued to believe in them and I continued to see leaves would grow from them. Even if it, would, even if it was one leaf, that's all I would need. So I continued talking and telling the tree it was beautiful. I continued saying, you're the most beautiful bonsais I've ever seen in my life. You are amazing, you are powerful and there's nothing that you cannot do. And each day I continued. Each night, I'd do the same thing. And one day I woke up and I had the biggest smile on my face because at that very moment, both bonsai trees had sprouted about 10 little leaves. Today I'm looking at my bonsais, which are not the same as the other two bonsais, but they're beginning again. They're picking themselves back up again. And they're now starting to shine, blossom. Dear friends, you are that very tree. You are the bonsai. But it's only you who can water you. It is only you who can put crystals in your hands and nice things given to you and 
whatever you put in your mouth and eat is important. Whatever you do in your life with thoughts and feelings, you should be focused on the beauty within you, within the power within you, within you being everything that you are. Focusing on the amazing gifts that you hold, that you reject and don't believe is so. You see, like the plants, you are that person. You are the plant. You are the one. And there, are, there is nobody out there who can do all what I did for those plants, for you. Nobody. And if there is somebody who gives you a bit of love now and again, that's beautiful. But it is only you who can become the tree of life, the power, the energy that it's so easily manifests it isn't a simple digestion of one idea one practice one this it's a multitude of everything that you're willing to do for yourself the truth about life is that you have to look at the weak links in your life the fears that manifest weekly monthly, yearly. These are the things that you have to look at and let go of. You have to now start to believe in yourself and put yourself first in the way of realizing that you are the most important thing in your life because if you don't put yourself first and you're always putting other people first and giving and sharing, then like my plants, you'll just wilter away. I don't want you to wilter away. I want you to grab what I grabbed, to realize that if you can change the way you think and feel and behave today, if you can start saying to yourself, now I am gonna put myself as the importance. What do I need to eat? I'm gonna start studying and start looking at, I'm gonna start looking at people who are healthy, whose skin's healthy, who look strong, I'm gonna to start to make an effort to find out what they eat, how, and then I'm gonna have a look at people like Mark. What does he do? Oh, hang on a minute, Mark meditates. Mark works with uh, incense. Mark cleanses his body with sage. Mark um, goes down to the beach. Mark does this, but yeah, Mark does all these things. And actually he looks good and he looks happier. He looks, that, that's what, so now I'm starting to focus on what other people are doing and taking little bits from them and impl implementing them into my own life. Now I'm going to start to do one thing a day to make me stronger and better and happier. This is what I did. I made sure I started looking. Not people who talk and, and, and are the opposite. I'm talking about people who practice what they preach who walk the walk, talk the talk. They're the people. There's so many who talk, but don't do the opposite. They do the, ex it's like, hang on a minute, that doesn't make any sense. You're the exact opposite of what you're, you're preaching or teaching. It is important that you find genuine souls who are true to their word, who practice what they preach. They're the ones you need to look at and say, I, okay, I love that idea, I'm gonna take that. And what you do then is you start to build your own power. You start to look at who you are. You start to realize that your life is equal to anybody's life, but it's up to you to change your life to become stronger. Nobody will give you a tablet. There is no quick fix. I'm sorry, there is not a quick fix. It's taken me three months from my first detox to eat natural, healthy food, which is fruit and vegetables. Natural, healthy food. I've cut sugar out of my, my diet. Look at my skin. I, I've got like cheekbones again. I, I've never felt, look at my stomach. It's gone, it was out here. Everybody told me, Mark, you'll always have that stomach. Doesn't matter what you do. You know what? I didn't listen to people. I listened to the right people who practice what they preach. It is important that your life is filled with more peace than drama. Your life is more important to be still than to run around crazy in your mind daily. 
It is important that you find your sleep on a night, that you can sleep, which gives your body the energy the next day to then get up in the morning and start your day by drinking a juice. And the best juice to drink is pure lemon juice. Four lemons, squeezed, drink. These are the things that you do for yourself that make you the beautiful skin. You feel great. Your body starts to get in shape. Why? Because you started to work on yourself. Because you are worth it. You are so worth it. And when you start to do things for yourself, I'm going for a massage. Really? I'm going to get my teeth cleaned. I'm going to get... Really? Wow. Really? Yeah, because I'm worth it. Because if I have a clean mouth, I have I have a healthy body. It's all about the mouth as well. Clean the mouth. Brush your tongue. My tongue was white three months ago with candida. Now it's getting better and better every day. My skin's getting better. Why? Because I'm eating healthy. Because I'm drinking uh, plenty of water. Because I'm working on my body. Because I'm saying no to people who are filled with worry and fear and putting that energy into me. No, listen, I need a break. I I'll see you later. And now I'm focused on me. Do you see what I'm trying to tell you all? It is so important to let people go, to be able to be the powerful you, to then be able to go back into their life and share your light and your, your love and your power and say, look, this is what I did. Look, do you like me? Yes. And they go, oh my God, look at you. You look amazing. What did you do? Ah, share the information and then they change their life. You're always asking me, how can I change my family's life? How can I change them from worrying? You have to be the strong one. You have to walk away from them to be able to come back. I love you all. Have a great day, guys. My phone's turning off. So it's on empty now. I love you all. From my heart to yours, listen. I hope this helped in one way or another. You know I love you. Keep going and be that plant. Be the strongest and put yourself first. I love you so much, I really do. And don't ever, ever stop believing in yourself. Don't ever give up on life. Don't ever give up on yourself because I promise you, within a few months of working hard for yourself, you too can change your life and share that energy with the rest of the world. And I promise you, if you do, you will find your path, your destiny and your spiritual awakening. It's all there. I love you all. Have a great day. Thank you for subscribing to Matt Bayerski YouTube channel. I love you all. Catch this.